Hey everybody, what do you do when you find that your trusty little friend is sick and you know, needs about 400 bucks in repairs to rebuild the water side and while you're at it, another 100 bucks in parts to rebuild the air side. It, it's a huge problem. There's only one answer. Sorry little buddy. Okay, so we're not gonna shoot the little buddy, but we do have a can over there. Oh, so close. Well, the truth is you don't shoot them and you don't throw them away. He's your good little buddy. He's made you a lot of profits. So maybe you sell them for parts or maybe you keep them for parts for your other uh, half inch air pumps. And if you do sell them for parts or you made good money with your little buddy, you get yourself one of these as an upgrade. So let's do an open box and find out what we have. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. Okay, y'all ready? Here we go. inch air pump. Ooh. All right, we're out of the box. You can see that these are equipped with the uh, Hansi flanges, so I'll have to buy the flanges with the female threads. Uh, the newer models actually have the threads already in them. Um, that's what I thought I was getting, but I was mistaken, so I don't have those to put on. But anyways, this is a, a new old stock pump. Um, these run about a thousand dollars. I got this off of eBay for two fifty. Uh, so the out is always at top, the end where your fluids come into the pumper at the bottom. Air connections on the side here. You have a three eighths um, inlet here. So before you put your quick connect, they give you a nice ball valve to put in here, so you can shut the air off right at the pump. They give you a silencer, helps keep the noise down. Uh, they give you a couple of wrenches that come with them so when you're taking it apart and pulling the diaphragms out you can use those that's those could come in handy one day i guess um other than that it's got the uh polypropylene body to it the aluminum um air pump which does not like moisture and they use a lot of air so you're going to need a big air compressor for it valve seats the diaphragms and the check valves are PTFE Teflon, so that's good. So it should last quite a while. Uh, it'll pump out something like 46 gallons a minute or something. It's got about an 18 foot lift on the suction. Um, if you want to read the rest of it, just Google up. I have the pump model is the, um, I have a piece of paper somewhere in the box, but I'll have to put that in the description for you. Don't you worry, little buddy. You're a lot smaller than the big guy here, but I love you every bit as much. We would never shoot you with the shotgun. And I apologize for missing the garbage can. We'll take good care of you. Here you can see we uh, took some Teflon tape and some pipe dope and put the 3 8 on-off valve for the air connection and 3 8 connector, so that's ready to go. And on the back, put the muffler or silencer on. Same way, just some uh, duct tape, not, sorry, Teflon tape and, and pipe though. And it's you know, ready to go as soon as I find some flanges to put on here. And, and the gaskets go in between and I'll just pipe it in with a one inch pipe. And another you note, know, they have these uh, little cushiony rubber dealies on the bottom. When you bolt this in place and put it somewhere on a flat surface, you want to have this pretty low. Um, I put it on the floor next to the tank, even though it'll draw up to 6 feet or 18 feet or whatever it's supposed to draw up to. The closer you have your income coming in, you know, in other words, the less it has to lift up, the less pressure you're pulling on your diaphragm. So your diaphragms will last a little longer, you know, with the least amount of resistance. It's not a huge thing, but you know, it's just something to consider, and that helps those little feet down there help the vibration and whatnot, so that the pump's not, you know, vibrating around while it's running. 
So pick a good spot when you mount it to make sure that you have access to all the areas. Some guys will take these and put them on tubes and put them outside their rigs. So if something happens, it leaks outside their rigs. Other guys will take them and put them inside a bucket, like a 55 gallon drum cut nap or something, put a lid on it, but just, you know, the two holes cut through for the hoses in case if something happens, you know, it doesn't spray all inside their rigs. And then some guys just mount them right to the floor and, you know, just keep a real good eye on them. As you can see, I've got the pump assembled and I've been testing it out. I had to go up to the hardware store and buy some of this braided hose. They didn't have any of the crush proof hose like this, which I will use when I install it permanently. But I had to call Rex up, the pump guru, talk to his daughter. She knew exactly what I needed. And I ordered up the flanges and the Vinton seals. And uh, I did that on a Wednesday and they were here Friday afternoon. So Saturday morning, I just stuck all this together real quick. Had to go down to the local hardware store, get some half-inch stainless steel nuts, bolts, and lock washers and washers. So I hooked her up, tested it out, you know, adjusted the, the uh, air compressor to handle it, and she ran just fine. In the beginning, I was having a little difficulty getting a prime, which is often the case. They have a little button here you push to help assist in prime, and also... When you have a big pump like this or any air pump the first time around, you want to really lower the um, pressure going into the pump. That way it'll suck some water up and equalize out and it just primes faster. And then once, you, once it's running and going, you can then go to your pressure regulator and crank it up to whatever PSI you want. By the time you buy this little hose and all the nuts and bolts and everything else, you know, it starts adding up. but here again, well worth the money. That thing will put out 46 gallons a minute. So if you got a big project, you can put a lot of material down really quickly with that. What do you think, Thor? You still here? Okay, buddy. Let's go. You want to go? Who wants to go? You want to go, don't you? Okay. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really hope you enjoy them. If you have a comment or a question, leave it in the comments section below. I'll be glad to answer it as soon as I can, or maybe one of my subs will. But remember, please hit that subscribe button that's going to pop up, and YouTube is going to put more videos for you to watch over here. So enjoy yourself, grab the popcorn, and just remember, we really appreciate you being part of our family and subscribing to our channel. All the support you give us has been wonderful. So have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.